Now obviously you've got to tailor the fish that you want to grow to your climates as well as uh, the legalities. There's one fish species that everyone likes to grow overseas, tilapia. We can't grow them at all here in Australia because they're a noxious pest. I'm not too worried about that. We have some great local native fish we can grow. So you look into the legalities and then look into what sort of climate you have and what fish suit that climate. Now we're in the subtropics so there's no point at all, even through winter, to have trout growing in our system here. Uh, likewise, I would not be running barramundi if I lived in an area that had a hard freeze through winter because you're just not going to get a long enough growing season to get those fish out at the water temperature they require. So I suggest you look at what's provided by the local fish hatcheries, ring them up, have a bit of a chat to them, tell them what you're doing, tell them you're uh, one of those crazy nuts trying to grow veggies using fish and they'll probably have a suggestion of a variety of fish that you could grow in your area there. Not only that, they're going to be a very useful source of information when it comes to the feeding rates needed for your new fingerlings as they go into the system and also give you some pointers on how long it should take for them to grow from a fingerling stage all the way through to harvest. They're sort of questions you can ask those folks at the hatcheries, pick their brains and see what they can give you a bit of a hand with.